What's up guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Jen. I'm here to bring you my tier elements deck profile. Before we get into the profile guys, make sure to slap the like button, subscribe, and comment down below if you like waifu decks as much as I do. <laughs> now, this is going to be an overview of what the deck can do and sort of a basic skeleton of the deck. So make sure to also comment down your tech choices so other people can try them as well. Now, there's a lot to cover here, so let's jump into the video. So Tier Limits is an upcoming Dark Aqua archetype in the newest set, The Power of the Elements. They focus on milling your deck in order to trigger the graveyard effects of the main deck Tier Limit monsters, which is to fusion summon cards like Winda, Kaliga, and even Dragon Septilia. The deck also centers around fusion summoning during your opponent's turn in order to trigger additional effects. Now, if you never thought to make a turn zero window on your opponent's turn, open up when it is and you can actually get there. Now that you have a general understanding of the deck, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to be adding the prices of the cards on the screen for you guys, so my deck profiles can be a little bit better than Susu. And do you know what else is better than Susu? This amazing 4th of July sale that we are having over at headtabbattles.com where you can pick up your deck boxes, binders, playmats, and basically all your TCG accessory needs. Use code BOOM20 at checkout to get 20% off your order until July 6th. And now, let's get into the card by card profile. We are starting off with three tier element Meirus, and if this card is normal or special summoned, you mill the top three cards from your deck to the graveyard. And if Meiru is sent to the graveyard by this effect, you can fusion summon a monster by placing the required materials from your hand, field, and or graveyard onto the bottom of your deck, including this card that is in the graveyard. And the next two tier limit monsters coming up have this same second effect. Next, we are playing three tier limit Hafwenes. And this card acts like a hand trap because her effect states that when your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, you can special summon her from your hand. And if it resolves, you send the top three cards from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do end up milling the correct cards, you can actually summon a Winda by putting back a Shadal monster and a Dark to make a turn zero Winda on your opponent's turn. Next, we are playing three Tyramant Sirens. And Siren is the extender of your deck, which she states during your main phase, you can special summon her. And if you do, you send one monster from your hand to the graveyard. Then send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. Now that send effect is really powerful because if you end up sending Rhino Heart, you can chain block with Rhino Heart as the last chain link, so you can dodge hand traps that way as well. Rhino Heart will then summon itself to the field and you can proc its effect. And to finish off the Tyramet main deck lineup, we are actually, of course, playing three Tyramet Rhino Hearts. Now, this card is your one card starter, and this card reads a little bit different from the other main deck Tyramet cards. It states that if this card is normal or special summoned, you can Foolish Burial Monster, and if this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon this card, and if this resolves, you send one tier element card from your hand to the graveyard. So because this card specifically sends a tier element monster, this is why it's considered your main one card starter. Next, we are playing a small Shadal package. And if you guys are familiar with Shadals, you know that they also have a lot of effects that triggers in the graveyard. So we are starting with two Shadal Squamatas. And if this is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can Foolish Burial Shadal card and being able to send more Shadal cards to the graveyard with its effects will also help load your grave to be able to fusion summon more monsters and to give you follow-up as well. Next, we are playing one Shadal Beast and one Shadal Dragon. When Beast is sent to the graveyard, you can draw one card and Dragon, you can target one spell or trap on the field and destroy it. Now, I know both of these effects will come up handy if you need to out a floodgate on your board or if you do need to fix your hand. And these effects aren't really game changing, but it can give you the advantage that you would need to push for game and to control the game state. So this is going to be a very mid-range deck where you can make your floodgates in the form of Winda and Kaliga in addition to Prayer Plant Dragostepilia. So guys, we are also playing a small branded package with two Fallen of Albas. If you guys do not know the effect of Albas, it's basically a super poly, but you must use Albas with one of the materials. And Fallen of Albas will also help you go into Lubelion, which will in turn summon you Mirror Jade Dragon, which is a great monster to have on your end board. 
The great thing about this deck is the ability to play into many different archetypes while at the same time maintaining that synergy not, not a lot of decks can actually achieve. And now for our spice, we are playing three King of the Swamps. Now, this is very similar to Hexlight because you can substitute this card for any one fusion monster as long as it states the exact name. So for example, if you want to summon Kaliga, King of the Swamp can replace Alistair the Invoker because it is specifically listed on the fusion monster itself. And I do think that this is better than Hexlight because you can discard this and then add a polymerization which can help you make cards like Guardian Chimera, while at the same time loading the grave so you can fusion summon using King of the Swamp in the graveyard as well. And to finish it off, we are playing three Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Ash will always be a great card in any deck because it can hit almost every combo piece in the game. And now, on to the spell cards. We are starting with three, oh boy, Ruin Realm Parallelino. Oh goodness. <laughs> when this card is activated, you can add one tier limit monster or a Visa Starfrost. Also, fusion monsters and tier limit monsters all gain 500 attack. In addition, if a tier limit monster is returned from your field or graveyard to the deck or extra deck, except during the damage step, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. So this effect can also can be used to trigger graveyard effects for more combos by targeting cards on your field as well. And guys, whenever our field spell doubles as a Rota, you already know it's going to be a great card to have in the deck. Next, of course, we are playing three branded fusions. And if you also play branded Despios like me, you know this card is completely broken. So this card states, you can fusion summon one fusion monster that mentions Fallen of Albas as material using monsters from your hand, field, or deck. <laughs> and being able to send a Fallen of Albaz and a Tier Limit monster is actually really huge for the deck because the Tier Limit monsters will trigger since it was sent to the graveyard by a card effect. Next, we play two Polymerization, pretty self-explanatory. And for our power one ofs, we are playing one Foolish Burial, one Terraforming, one Call by the Grave, and one Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion is actually really cool in here because it essentially could end up being a one card combo because you can summon a tier like Kikalos and start a combo line from there. And if you already have a good hand, however, you can summon Millenniumize Restrict and have a defensive card while you combo off. Now, moving on to our very small trap lineup, we are playing two tier limit Metanoids. This card states if you control a tier limit monster, Target one face up monster your opponent controls, change it to face down defense, then send one tier limit monster from your deck to graveyard. And if this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target one tier limit monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Now, this card not only acts like a Book of Moon, but it can help you summon it in a window on your opponent's turn if they added your first copy of it, making this card an important staple in the deck. Next, we are playing one tier limit Salic. Salic, Salic. <laughs> Salic, Salic states if you control a tier limit monster, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effects, and then send one monster you control to the graveyard. Also, if this card sends a graveyard by a card effect, you can add one tier limit monster. And finally, for our final three trap cards, we are playing triple infinite impermanence. And that will finish up our main deck. Moving on to the extra deck, we are starting off with two tier length Kaleido Heart. Now, this card cannot be used as fusion material. And if this is special summon or an aqua monster is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, while this card is on the field, you can target one card your opponent controls and shuffle it back into the deck. Additionally, if this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon this card, and if this resolves, you can Foolish Burial one tier limit card. Next, we are playing two tier limit Kakalos, and if this is special summon, you can take one tier limit card from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Also, you can target one monster you control, special summon one tier limit monster from your hand or graveyard, and if it resolves, you send the targeted monster to the graveyard. 
And finally, goodness, a lot of effects. This card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect. You mill the top five cards from your deck. And for our branded lineup, we are playing one Mirror Jade Dragon and one Lubellion Dragon. So Lubellion will be used to summon Mirror Jade, which has a banish effect. And if the card leaves the field because of an opponent's card, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls during the end phase of that turn. Next, we do play two El Shadal Windas. And guys, if you don't know what she does, let me explain. <laughs> Each player can only special summon once per turn as long as she's on the field. So it's pretty self-explanatory why she's broken. The fact that you can make one on your own turn and then make another one on your opponent's turn if they out it, that's quite the threat. <laughs> Next, we are playing one Invoke Kaliga. This card is insanely good in conjunction with Predator Plant Dragon Stapilia because your opponent can use the one monster effect, which you can negate with Dragon Stapilia, and then they cannot activate any more for that turn. You can make this card by replacing Alistair the Invoker with King of the Swamp as material, which is insanely good. Next, we are playing one Millennium Ice Restrict, which is another instant fusion target, which will help you to be able to combo off and not worry about too much getting interrupted. Next, we play two Predator Plant Dragon Stapilia, which its main purpose is to be a monster negate and in conjunction with Kaliga, even just these two cards can be really powerful. And the final fusion we are playing is Guardian Chimera. It's a free draw and a pop depending on how you use the materials to fusion summon this card. And this card is easily going to be chain blocked in our deck simply due to the fact that the materials themselves will be able to trigger and you can call your chain links in a way so that this card does not get ashed. And we will finish off the extra deck with one time three Redoer and one Zeus. For Redoer, whenever you detach a tier limit monster, you can trigger its graveyard effects. So if you were to normal summon and then special summon another level 4 and you need the cards in the graveyard to trigger their effects, this is the exact card that will get you there. And for Zeus, being able to clear boards with a beefed up Redoer also feels really good. And a lot of cards in the game cannot be destroyed or targeted, so it's great that this thing, it does neither. And a non-targeting send is one of the broken effects in the game. Now on to the side deck, we are playing the power one of with Tanker Tops, Red Reboot, and Harpy Feather Duster. Next, we are playing three Ghost Ogres. This card will be insanely good uh, when going into the Splite matchup, as well as the Brave Engine, and when going up against the Punk Brave Pile. Next, we are playing Triple Lightning Storm. Being able to clear monsters as well as back row with one card is really valuable in today's game where decks really need to be built meticulously. Next, we are playing three Super Polymerizations. And this will mainly come up if you're in the mirror match as well as random ways to be able to start your combo as well. Up against the splice, you can actually normal summon then Super Poly away to totally awesome and make it Kalos and start your combo that way. And finally, we are playing the three dimensional barriers. Now, this card is going to be really good uh, once we get all the new cards from Power of the Elements and being able to call fusions for tier elements, Xyz for splites, and synchros for sword souls, punks, and pile decks makes this card an absolute staple moving on to the new format. So again guys, as you can see there's a lot of graveyard mechanics involved with the deck and there's actually even more insane support announced already for future sets. So if you're excited like I am, make sure to slap the like button, subscribe, and comment down below how you think about this deck and if you are a fellow tournament player. So that's it for me today guys, this is Jen from Head to Head Battle, signing out. What's, What's up, up guys? guys? If you haven't subscribed, make sure to click that button right there in the middle. Also, if you haven't watched that video that YouTube is recommending you, it's probably crazy, alright? Go watch it. This is Susu from Head to Head Battles. Head to Head Battles. Signing out.